Hi there, I finally was able to make the video to answer the question on the running quiz. This is the right answer. So the answer is D. If you recall, the exercise was this, and the code for this exercise is this. Let's run it. As you can see, we have 100 coroutines that have just been launched and finished, and the code took about one second to execute. How does this happen? Well, the dispatchers I.O. have a limit of 64 threads where the coroutines can run, or the maximum number of CPUs that you have in your machine, if that value is higher than 64. That's what they say in their documentation right here. If we read here through this code, you see immediately that they give an example where if they configure parallelism, you might create all of these threads. However, they say here down below that the maximum threads will still be the maximum that we've calculated before. So 64 or the maximum number of cores of your machine. When we run the code with this 100, we're actually not running threads. We are running coroutines. That's what it says here in the documentation. And when we run our code, we are causing a delay. And that delay is one second for all the 100 threads. But what this means is that we are just starting the different coroutines and they will be scheduled. They will all be scheduled at the same time. When they get back, they will also get back at the same time, but they will run with the logic that they mentioned here, which is the best effort logic, whatever that logic actually is. Back into the code, that's what generates this very small overhead here, which then explains why this takes a bit more than one second, but not exactly one second. As a short disclaimer, I'd like to mention that I'm not associated or affiliated with any of the brands eventually shown, displayed or mentioned in this video.